You've heard of peeping toms before. It's someone who's violating your privacy in your home, but there's a different type of danger you probably never thought of before, and it all stems from having this little camera on your computer. Face it, vulnerability is a fact of cyber life. Very scary because that means at any time someone could be watching me. With the perks of staying on the go come some very scary and some very real risks. There have been cases where there has been some web snooping through webcams that are on your laptops and some software that can even come in behind the scenes, turn on your camera on your laptop and not be aware of it. You heard right, control your webcam. But let's back up a second and think about where you're using your laptop. Perhaps it's here in your hotel room on vacation or in bed while you work at night or maybe even listening to music while taking a shower. All very intimate moments you don't want to share with a stranger. There's even malicious software that can turn off the light that shows you're streaming, meaning you have no idea when someone is watching. And a lot of times I'm just in my pajamas or maybe even a little less because I figure I'm in the privacy of my own home. The FBI is now calling this snooping cyber terrorism. While some are just out for a cheap thrill, others like 32 year old Luis Manjagos is what the federal agency calls a full blown sextortionist. He was convicted of capturing images and video from more than 100 computers, many of whom were young teenage girls. And the scary part is it doesn't take a computer programmer to figure it out. Just typing webcam hacking into YouTube search bar and you'll find dozens of videos promising to show you how to hack into webcams, security cams, even daycare cams. We even came across this link, a free for all of security cameras open for everyone to see. Dartmouth College, the tunnel between Detroit and Canada, even Hamburg, Germany. Some question if this is a huge security violation. That makes me a little bit nervous, actually. But that's a major security issue. Jeff Marcellus of Data Expert says if you don't have the right security settings, especially in public places, guess what? There's a one in 10 chance of getting hacked. And he says even if you think you're risk free, you're not. Some people might even close their laptop. Uh, we've had folks uh, tell us that they actually put a piece of tape over the camera. There's also a way that you can disable and turn off the camera. But again, in order to protect yourself, keep that vibe virus and spyware security up to date. That's your best line of defense. Marcellus admits there's no one virus or malware scanner program that's going to catch everything, so he suggests downloading two. That way if one scan misses a new virus, the other will catch it. Most of those security companies that specialize in putting software on laptops and other devices, they can only defend against what they know about. So you're always going to be a step behind no matter how current you are. Norton and McAfee are both really great programs, but here's the thing. They're going to be shelling out about $50 to $80 for a year subscription. Now, Jeff actually gives AVG and Malwarebytes two thumbs up, and the best thing is it's absolutely free. It's something else to keep in mind, especially if you're a business owner and you have a security camera system, you've got to make sure it's up to part because imagine someone being able to track when you come to and from work, where you stash your money, maybe even your code safe. That's all information you definitely don't want to fall into the wrong hands. Reporting tonight in Myrtle Beach, I'm Heather Byans for WNBF News.